Hey guys, SGT here. We have significant news to cover in the metals and world of economics tonight, so let's get started. The confirmed volume of silver at the COMEX on Tuesday was 201,216 contracts, which equates to just slightly more than 1 billion ounces of silver in one day. Now, for perspective, consider that the entire annual production of silver on planet Earth is 600 million ounces. So Tuesday's volume was 166% of annual world worldwide silver production. The games the big banks are playing are apparently not over. Now, according to CME Group, which owns the COMEX, Tuesday marked record volume in silver trading with a 57% increase over the former all-time high. 57% over the previous record of 127,890 contracts set on, get this, December 30th, 1976. Can anyone say Hunt Brothers? When I tell you there's smoke coming out of the COMEX along with massive amounts of silver, I'm not exaggerating. The huge and regular withdrawals of silver from registered vaults is alarming. Something has spooked investors, causing them to no longer feel safe keeping their silver in registered COMEX vaults. And I think we know what that is. Precious metals are financial assets, and like currencies and T-bills and T-bonds, they trade in the multiples of a hundred times the underlying physical. It now appears clear that nobody in their right mind would be short silver here, which leaves only the Fed-backed banks, which are in trouble, and they know it. Experts are predicting a quick jaunt to $30 and then on to much higher prices. The fundamentals and supply demand story in silver is just too strong. Add to that the billions of dollars in naked shorts and you have the makings of a silver-plated ICBM. Now, Dan Norsini points out that gold and silver shrugged off dollar strength on Wednesday as buyers of the metals are now in control and gold and silver are trading on their own merits as money. And in related news, today both gold and silver rose while the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P fell. Expect more of the same as we close out 2010. And more strange action in the SLV ETF in recent days. On Tuesday, the SLV traded 149 million shares, representing 149 million ounces of silver, an amount equal to nearly half of SLV's total holdings. It's starting to look like the SLV is not only fraudulent in terms of its bullion holdings, but that it's also being used as a fraudulent tool to drive the price of silver down. And finally, guys, there are many sources all over the internet, none of which are confirmed, but do have merit based on what Jim Willie has had to say about Bank of America getting a bailout by the Fed a few weeks ago. Bank of America is being specifically cited around the internet as having extreme liquidity problems and if it falls the incestuous US banking system could fall along with it like dominoes got physical protect yourselves guys we're all in this together thanks for watching have a great night